In the first few decades of this country's history, finding gold was almost as American as baseball and apple pie. There were notable gold rushes in North Carolina and Georgia, and the California gold rush basically built the city of San Francisco, all while giving the entire region the boom it needed to usher California into statehood. It was the late 1840s when a San Francisco newspaper announced the discovery of gold in the region, and it didn't take much time for word to get out across the globe. Folks just didn't travel across the Americas to mine for this incredible metal. People came from Asia, South America, and Europe to get their hands on these glittery yellow nuggets. The year is now 1849, and hundreds of thousands of these self-proclaimed Argonauts have settled in what will become the great state of California. These pioneers became known as the 49ers, and their descendants would go on to be a group of fans that get way, way too excited about a 6 in 10 season. Gold has been a hot commodity well before the great American gold rushes of the 1800s. Some of the earliest civilizations adorned their leaders in the rich and famous with gold. I'm sure the initial appeal of this metal was its beauty, but it also has some pretty incredible properties that make it super useful, thus adding value. Gold is extremely malleable and ductile, and no, I'm not talking about birds that say quack and live in ponds. A material that's able to be pressed into sheets without breaking is malleable, and if it can be drawn out into a thin wire, it's known as ductile. Many materials possess these properties, but gold is particularly good at performing in this way. And it's not just that, gold is extremely resistant to corrosion, which is why a 300-year-old gold coin looks pretty much the same as a gold coin that was fashioned last week. Many other precious metals, however, wouldn't be so lucky. It's also a decent conductor of electricity because of its extreme resistance to corrosion. It has been an ideal choice for use in some electronic devices, even your phone. Maybe we should do a video on metals in your phone. Every smartphone, whether it's Android or Apple, is built on the backs of hardworking crystals and precious metals. Apparently we already did one, and I guess it's weird I don't remember that. All of these superpowers combined make gold an extremely desirable metal, and its desirability has remained steady since basically the beginning of modern human civilization. And if you don't believe me, just ask anyone from Cleopatra to the Murphy Brothers. All right, you can't ask them because they're dead, but you get the idea. Without getting too deep in the economics of it all, societies and their economies began to print notes that merely represented the actual material that held a particular value. The popular metal of choice? You guessed it. Thallium! No, just kidding, it's gold. This practice quickly became the gold standard of defining the value of a country's currency. But because of the restrictions this standard can put on a country's economy, it was largely abandoned during the Great Depression. Even though large swaths of people are no longer making treacherous trips across the country to pan for this desirable metal, many people still invest in gold because of its relatively stable value. It's still one of the go-to materials for jewelry making and is the primary metal desired by everyone's third favorite Austin Powers villain. I love gold! Did you travel across the country braving terrible conditions to try and get rich in California? And when you did arrive, did you find out you could actually make more money selling supplies to people who were also there looking for gold? Pretty cool, huh? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. For more information on the topics we discussed today, check out the links below. Thanks for watching.